Melika's Maritime Majesty, a journey through time. Once upon a time, nestled on the western coast of peninsular Malaysia, existed a small state known as Melika. Melika, also known as Malacca, holds a rich and vibrant history that traces back to the 15th century, making it one of the most important trading ports of its time. The story of Melika begins with the legendary tale of Parameswara, a prince from the Srivijaya Empire. After being exiled from Sumatra, Parameswara sought refuge and eventually settled in a small fishing village near the Melika River. During one fateful hunting trip, he witnessed an extraordinary event. A mouse deer valiantly fought off his hunting dogs. Inspired by the bravery of the mouse deer, Parameswara decided to establish his kingdom in the very spot where he witnessed this extraordinary event. Under Parameswara's rule, Melika flourished into a bustling trading hub, attracting merchants from China, India, the Middle East, and Europe. Its strategic location on the Strait of Malacca made it a vital stopover for vessels traversing the maritime Silk Road. Melika became a melting pot of cultures, religions, and trade, with a diverse and cosmopolitan population. The prosperity of Melika attracted the attention of powerful neighboring kingdoms, including the Majapahit Empire from Java and the Ayutthaya Kingdom from Siam. The ambition to control Melika led to numerous conflicts and power struggles. However, it was the arrival of a legendary figure that would forever change the fate of Melika, Admiral Jiang He, a Chinese explorer and diplomat. In 1405, during one of his famous voyages, Jiang He arrived in Melika, establishing diplomatic relations with Parameswara. This diplomatic alliance brought immense benefits for Melika. The Chinese fleet provided protection from potential invaders while simultaneously boosting trade and commerce within the region. Melika quickly became a prominent port of call for the Chinese, further solidifying its position as a major trading center. The golden age of Melika reached its pinnacle under the rule of Sultan Mansur Shah in the early 15th century. The Sultanate built a magnificent palace, established a strict legal code, and maintained a harmonious relationship with neighboring kingdoms. Melika's fame continued to spread far and wide, attracting the attention of European powers eager to tap into the lucrative spice trade. In 1511, the Portuguese, led by the ambitious explorer Afonso de Albuquerque, launched an attack on Melica, seeking to control the spice trade and secure their dominance in the region. After a fierce battle, the Portuguese managed to capture Melica, marking the beginning of European colonization in Southeast Asia. Under Portuguese rule, Melica suffered a decline in its status as a trading hub. However, the Portuguese left a lasting influence on the state's culture and architecture. Churches and fortresses were built, blending European and local architectural styles. In the following centuries, Melica fell under Dutch and then British rule, each leaving their own mark on the state's history. However, it was in 1957 that Melica, along with the rest of Malaysia, gained its independence from British colonial rule. Today, Melika stands as a vibrant city that proudly showcases its rich heritage. Its historic center, known as the Melika Historic City, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting tourists from around the world. The remnants of its past glory can still be seen in the form of well-preserved buildings, temples and vibrant marketplaces which serve as a reminder of Melika's illustrious history as a center of trade, culture and learning. <laughs>